and welcome to the Soberholic vlog. We're out in the middle of nowhere. It's cool. So yesterday I got a call from my boss saying like, hey, have you got any RDOs you want to use up? You can have Monday off if you want. And me being the dedicated worker that I am went, yeah, I'll have the day off. It'll be cool. So I'm up in Canada and we're heading out exploring today. We're going to check out um, a place called Dripping Rock, which is like a, apparently a waterfall over a rock, which I'm really excited about. Unfortunately, it involves like driving along gravel roads. As we know, my car just loves gravel roads. I'm not sure if you can see right here, another sidewall. <laughs> so time to get changing a tire. Tires changed. Um, noticed something interesting when I was getting this one off. So we have one hole there and one hole there. So yeah, no wonder it was flat. Anyway, I have to take it a bit easier from now on because I don't have any more spare tires. So if I get another one, it'll be a matter of chucking two flat ones on the back and driving home very slowly. It was a very long, cautious drive, but I've made it safe. One tire, two tire, three tire, four, all inflated. I just have to get home the same way. But I am safely out at this place called Dripping Rock, and apparently there's a waterfall there that drips down into the lagoon. So, got my Mavic Platinum, a little bit of a walk to get out there, so we'll go and do that. Let's see what it's like. That's quite impressive. It's quite um quite humbling and awe-inspiring to stand here. So when it rains, there's normally water running down there into this pool, and then there's a river down there. And as you can see by the size of the boulders in this river, I'm guessing when it runs. It runs really fast. Unfortunately, Ganadar at the moment is in the middle of a massive drought. And I mean, a massive, massive drought. There's a lot of people around here hurting that really need some rain. But I think I'm just gonna enjoy this for a while. It's pretty impressive. And it's actual water. There's no water anywhere, but this rock's still dripping. It's pretty damn cool. Honestly can't get over how humbling and beautiful this place is. As this track, it's probably about halfway up. There's water down there. And you can sort of walk around here and just sit. And I just can't even imagine this when it's running full and how beautiful it must look. It's really humbling just sitting here knowing that this has been here forever and will still be here long after every single one of us is gone. It's pretty cool. That is a crazy experience. The camera totally hides how steep it is. But it's a really long way down there. I know I keep crapping on about how impressive and humbling this all is, but it's just, it's unreal. I know I keep saying there's nothing to do out in Gunnedah. There is, it just takes a flat tire and about an hour and a half to get there. Anyway, I'm going to head back down to the car now and drive back into town. I'll catch up with you in town and hopefully we've still got four tyres on the car. And what a day that has been. We're back to where we started from this morning. What a day. I've just got back to town, got a new tyre for the car. That was 150 bucks, so kind of expensive day. 
but honestly just totally worth it I can't stress enough just how good it is sometimes to take a day out for yourself just for you no one else get out in nature and just enjoy being surrounded by nothing we live in this world that's just constant stress we've got technology we're connected all the time sometimes it's just nice just to get out and sit on the top of a cliff <laughs> i know i've sure enjoyed it today i hope you've enjoyed it as much as i have thank you so much for coming along with me it's a pleasure as always don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already click on the bell if you want some notifications links for social media in the description below along with soberholic gear thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye don't wait me up.